Hello everyone. Today we're going to be learning about a very special holiday called Indigenous Peoples Day. It is a time to honor and celebrate Native American cultures, history, and contributions. Indigenous People Day is celebrated on the second Monday in October, the same day as Columbus Day, to recognize the history of Native Americans. There are over 570 federally recognized Native American tribes in the United States today, each with its own unique culture, language, and traditions. Indigenous peoples have lived in the Americas for thousands of years, long before European explorers arrived. Native American music is an important part of their culture, with drums, flutes, and rattles often used in traditional ceremonies. Powwows are gatherings where Native American communities come together to celebrate their culture through dancing, singing, and storytelling. Native American art includes making beautiful pottery, as well as basket weaving. Basket weaving is an ancient Native American art form. These baskets were used for carrying food, storing supplies, and even cooking. Native Americans also make beautiful beadwork and jewelry that has been passed down through generations. Native Americans consider many places in nature, such as mountains and rivers, to be sacred, and they have strong spiritual connections to the land. The term indigenous means native to a place. Indigenous peoples are the original inhabitants of a land before colonization or settlement by other groups. Indigenous People Day is not just celebrated in the United States, there are indigenous people in many other parts of the world, like the Aboriginal people in Australia and the First Nations in Canada. Different Native American tribes built different types of homes. Let's look at some of these homes. The first home was the adobe house. Adobe houses were made of stone. Later, they were built with clay bricks that also contained straw and soil. Adobe houses were usually built by the Hopi, Zuni, and Pueblo tribes in the southwestern part of the United States. The next house we'll look at is the longhouse. Longhouses were made with wooden poles covered with bark and animal skins. The Algonquian and Iroquois and their tribes usually built their houses and lived in them in the northwestern part of the United States. We'll also look at the plank house. Plank houses were made of cedar wood. Ropes were used to hold the house together. Many tribes of the Pacific Northwest built these types of homes, including the Clatsops, Cowlitz, Kathlinmets, and Wakiacum tribes. Then we'll look at the teepee houses. A teepee was a tent made of wooden poles covered with animal skins. It could be taken down and moved easily. Members of the Dakota tribes, the Plains Cree, and other tribes of the Great Plains built teepees. Finally, we will look at the wigwams. A wigwam was a dome-shaped building made of an arch pole that usually was covered with woven mats or tree bark. The Algonquian tribes of the Northeast, including the Wampanoags and the Jibbeways, commonly built wigwams. Native Americans were skilled farmers, growing crops like corn, beans, and squash. These are often called the Three Sisters because they grow well together. Native Americans created tools from stone, wood, and bone for hunting, building, and crafting. Storytelling is a key part of Native American culture. Many tribes pass down their history and lessons through oral traditions, telling stories that teach respect of nature and community. Many Native American tribes lived near rivers and oceans where fishing was an important part of their way of life. Native Americans built canoes to travel on rivers and lakes. 
Some tribes, like the Haida, built large, beautifully carved canoes from cedar trees. Some Native American leaders wore headdresses made of feathers, which were symbols of bravery, leadership, and respect. There were hundreds of different Native American languages spoken across North America, and efforts are being made today to keep many of these languages alive. Some Native American tribes used a form of sign language to communicate with other tribes that spoke different languages. Many Native American tribes used smoke signals to communicate over long distances. The patterns of smoke were a way to send messages quickly. Native Americans were skilled traders, exchanging goods like furs, food, and crafts with other tribes and later with European settlers. Some of the most famous well-known Native American leaders included Sitting Bull and Sagajawea. Also, there was Geronimo and Crazy Horse, each known for their bravery and leadership. Native Americans taught early settlers how to grow crops and survive in the new land, helping them to adapt to their new environment. Scientists believe that the ancestors of Native Americans migrated to the Americas over 10,000 years ago by crossing the land bridge that once connected Asia and North America, known as the Bering Strait. In many Native American cultures, medicine men or women played an important role in healing and spiritual practices using plants and rituals to treat illnesses. The medicine wheel is a sacred symbol for many Native American cultures representing balance, harmony, and the cycles of life. Native American foods like wild rice, bison, salmon, and fry bread are still enjoyed today and are part of cultural celebrations. Many Native American tribes had their own governments long before European settlers arrived, with councils and chiefs leading their communities. Many Native American tribes told stories about the stars and constellations, which played an important role in their cultural traditions. The first Thanksgiving in 1621 was a feast between the Pilgrims and the Wampanoag tribe. They shared food and gave thanks for the harvest. Over the years, many treaties were made between Northern American tribes, between the settlers of the New World, and throughout history. Indigenous People Day also reminds us of the hardships Native Americans faced, like the Trail of Tears, where many were forced to leave their lands in the 1830s. The Native American tribes were forced to move to reservations and live on land that was appointed by the government for them to live on. Many Native American lands were considered sacred, and Mount Rushmore, for example, is located on land sacred to the Lakota Sioux people. Today, students learn about indigenous people in the classrooms. Many Native Americans are glad to participate and teach others about their proud history and to reflect on the contributions that Native Americans have made and to recognize their resilience and survival throughout history. Pictured are children playing lacrosse. It is one of the oldest team sports in North America, originally played by Native American tribes as a way to train warriors. Indigenous People Day was first officially recognized in Berkeley, California in 1992 as an alternative to Columbus Day. We hope you enjoyed learning about Indigenous people and their contributions to the world. Thank you for learning with me today. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel and share us with your friends. We hope you'll join us again soon for another lesson on Wonder of Learning. Until the end, bye-bye.